few years ago, when we were allowed to go to conferences and exhibitions, I was going to a franchise show, franchise exhibition. It was in the UK at the NEC, from memory, uh, some years ago now. I remember walking around, and all the standard stuff is there. There were sort of drain cleaners, there were burgers, and anyway, all sorts of franchises there selling their uh, products and services and their systems. And I walked around the sort of the corner into one little sort of back end corner of the exhibition, and there's a guy there sat at a desk. And there's a poster up on the wall. I forget what he said now. And next to him was a, a perch, uh, not fish, a perch uh, for a bird. And on the perch is sat this, I'm going to say it was a, a buzzard, an eagle, an osprey. Some, I'm not a bird person, as you can tell. A bird of prey, beautiful, beautiful creature. Sat there very quiet. It had the um, the hood on, so it was covering its its eyes. And I sort of stopped and looked at, um, looked at him, looked at the bird, and I think, what the heck? What the heck is this? And I just I had to go and have a chat with him. So I walked over and I said, "Look, I'm, I'm, I'm an exhibit, I'm an exhibitor as well. So I was there uh, representing a franchise, but I'm intrigued about <laughs> why you sat here with a bird of prey on a perch." And he said, "Well, he said this is the franchise." I said, "Go on, what is it then?" He said, "Well, what we do is said when you buy the franchise from us, you get, uh, you get a van, you get a territory, and you get training on how to use a, a bird of." Pray like this. I said, well, what, you know, what, what's the what's the service? What's the delivery? What the what's the product? He said, well, we clear airfields of uh, of crows and pigeons and all that sort of thing. It says, what we do, we turn up at an airfield. It could be a big one or a little one, or a private one or anything like that, or even a I guess a, you know a farmer's field or anything like that. And if they want the birds clearing from their area, you put the uh, I'll call it an osprey, okay? You put the osprey up into the air and it flies around, and the other birds see that and they all clear off and that's the franchise business and I thought that's amazing and it was amazing very very a beautiful creature sat on this uh sat on the perch not fish it's a, a anyway so I thought well, that that was a, an incredible business and what it taught me is that it, well, not, any business can be franchised whether you're in the the burger business or the pizza business which is the, the classic mo- mode of of people thinking about a franchise it's not that at all forget it forget burgers and pizzas it could be clearing birds from a runway it could be in the machine tool the recruitment the cleaning the manufacturing it doesn't matter whatever business you're in it's possible to franchise it and the reason that's that franchising is good is not just because it's good to build and develop a franchise though if you do want to do that it's a very good way of achieving um, scale it's a way of achieving positive cash flow there's lots of good things around uh, building a franchise but even if you don't want to physically franchise your business the concept is very very strong so if you want to grow your business and to, to sell it for example you want to grow your business and sell it you build it through systems and structure and brand and reputation value quality efficiency productivity all the things that are a franchise has to do to make it saleable to other people who don't know what they're doing if you do that and your team run the business for you when I sell it the business is likely to be an easier sale uh, maybe a more valuable sale because you don't need to be there all the time the business isn't based around you as the the figurehead Uh, and it may be that you don't need to be tied in for quite so long so from a selling point of view selling a business point of view it can tick the box. From a growth point of view, it ticks the boxes. Of course it does, because you bring employees and team members in, and you've got a system to run. I know this. When we opened our warehousing business in the UK, first first location was easy, because I was there. Second location was a nightmare, because I wasn't there. And we didn't have any... I thought we had systems, didn't have any systems. Built the systems to support the first one, got it going, that was okay. The second one we opened, the third location, if you like, the second new one easy here's the systems here's the structure and we didn't franchise it but as we open new divisions new departments the systems followed us around made it so much easier so scalability is another key one so you can sell it you can scale it or even if you want to keep it keep the business and you know, pass it over to one of the family or to the managers coming through maybe a management buyout or something like that but from a succession planning point of view if the systems are running the business for you not you running the business uh, with your you know all coming through your desk it means it's easier for you to step back and retire or go part-time or take passive or whatever it is you can choose to do that so franchising is great if you want to franchise and grow your business 
as a great idea. But if you want to grow and scale it, it works. If you want to sell it, it works. If you want to pass it over to somebody else within the business, succession planning, it works. Even if you just want to keep your business as it is, don't grow and scale and go global. You just want to run it so it's more efficient and more productive so you can have some time away. It's the way to do it. System structure, brand, all those sort of things go into the franchise model and structure. I write about it in my book, which is over here, Your Business Rules Okay. It's how to, not how to build a franchise, it's the principles of growing a business with some, with a franchise mindset, if that makes sense. So get it, it's really good. So there you go, franchise mindset, franchise modality. You don't have to franchise, you don't have to be a burger or a pizza company, you can get any company, but use a franchise principles to scale and grow, to sell, to increase the succession um, ease, or just to buy yourself some time. Don't build yourself a, a, a job. Don't build yourself a job when you have your own business. Build a business so you can have some freedom. And franchising mindset, approach, and principles is the, a great way to do it. So there we go, tip for the week. Uh, happy Monday, fabulous here in the, uh, the valley over in the Moselle. And uh, blue sky sunshine, have a great day on Monday, and I'll see you soon. Take care for now. Any questions? Drop me a message in the box below. See you soon. Take care and bye for now.